here we have the E. coli decay rates versus the enterococci decay rates. So we are going to compare two groups. So we'll be using the student's t-test. So in Excel, in the data tab, there's data analysis which you can install. I've shown you all earlier how to install the data analysis function. You can see the link below. So if selecting for t-test, you'll see that there's a two sample assuming equal variances and unequal variances. So in Excel, you can check whether the variance is equal or unequal by selecting the f-test to sample for variances. Okay, so similarly, we will do the variable 1 range, variable 2 range with labels and the output will play, put it here. So this is the F-test two sample for variances. It shows that there is no significant difference between in the variances between this E. coli and enterococci. That means we can to compare the two groups. We can use the the T-test assuming equal variances so we'll carry out the same way selecting the data here hypothesize means difference is zero which means there's no difference we are testing for no similarity so output range we'll put it here you can see from here from the P2 tail test that the P is less than 0 0.05 that means there is significant difference between the decay rates in E. coli and enterococci that's how you can carry out a test for variance and then a student's t-test in Excel if you are using pass it is most it is easier first you copy and paste the data to pass select the two columns in univariate test two sample tests here you can see that the F test is already here so the Test for same variances, similar variances. The P is more than 0 0.05. So yes, you can accept the null hypothesis. There is no difference in the variance here. And then immediately you can see here you have the T for equal variances and the T for unequal variances. So the P is also here. So immediately you can select, you can see that the results is P equals 0 0.02 that means there is significant difference between the means of the decay rates that you measured in E. coli and also enterococci and you can see from the tab here if your data is non-parametric immediately you can look at the men with knee results.